Hey, hello, my friend. Welcome to the Artist Next Level Podcast. Super happy to be here with you today. I want to share with you four different ways, four ways in which you can make your art marketing easier for 2023. This is something that I was actually writing down. I was working on a blog post for the website, but then I'm like, you know what? These things are so good. I gotta make a podcast. I gotta make a video about this and talk about these four things because I'm super pumped, super excited as I just finished writing uh, this particular post. So I wanted to share with you, my friend, because the reality is that most artists, you know, if you are like me, most artists out in the world, no matter where you are in the world, you know, marketing doesn't come easy. It's not something that just naturally flows and happens. Yeah, for some artists, maybe it's easier, but for most artists, it is hard. You know, we, we want to spend more time creating art. We want to spend more time Time making the art. We want to spend more time in the studio thinking about art versus, you know, glued to the phone trying to make more reels or make more of everything, right? More posts, right? Or email newsletter. You know, those are the hurdles that we all have that now as artists living in this time and age, particularly in 2023 or whenever you're watching this video, you know, there's there seems to be more and more and more things that have to be added in our plate in order to successfully market our art. So, I was thinking as we go into the new year, you know, how do we make marketing easier for us as artists? But by making it easier, also making it more effective, not just simplifying for the sake of simplifying. And in fact, one of my goals for 2023 is to help you, my friend, help you, you know, with simplifying marketing so that you can spend more time in the studio creating the art that you love. So that is my goal and that's why I'm making <laughs> this particular video. So one way in which you can make your art marketing easier in 2023 is to start with your mindset. Yes, it starts with your mindset. This is something that has to do on how you think about marketing, what you feel when you think about marketing. You know, that thoughts, that feeling that you get inside, which for many artists is described by like Sergio, you know, I feel funny, I feel weird, I feel like a sell, so you know, I'm selling my soul to the devil when I'm marketing my art, when I feel like I have to marketing my art. And you know, I used to feel like that many years ago when I didn't really understand about marketing, when I used to categorize marketing as this idea of, oh, I'm just trying to sell my art, therefore it just feels weird to just like, I feel like if I'm going to the corner and with a sign says, hey, buy my art, buy my art, buy my art, right? That's sometimes how it feels. and. You know, when you think about it, you have to really start in your mindset. You have to really prime your mind, reset your mind into this idea of marketing so that you can make it easier for you. And this was a switch for me. And when I made the switch, then marketing became a lot easier. You know, I stopped thinking about marketing as a way of selling something to somebody. And then I started switching to thinking about marketing as a way of communication and as a way of connecting with people. You know, it allowed my marketing allowed me to connect with more people. And the reality is that as I connect with more people in a more effective way, as I communicate with more people, then therefore more art sales can happen. You know, my business began to grow. That is the reality. You know, the end result of good marketing was you know, growth in my art business. So it's exactly the same way. You know, when you stop thinking about marketing as a way of selling something to somebody, then that's when you feel funny, you feel weird, because you're trying to sell something. And it's not about that, you know, real marketing is about making connections, about connecting with the person on the other side of that email, of that reel, of that post, of of that letter that you're sending out, you know, of that, you know, uh, phone call, whatever marketing um, tool you're going to use or, or way of communication, you know, the end result, you know, is that you have a closer relationship with the person on the other side and therefore makes uh, making business a lot easier. So if you want to improve in how you feel about marketing in 2023, in the new year, or whenever you're watching this or listening to the podcast, you got to think about how you think about marketing. You have to reset that. You have to reset that framework in your mind. Say, you know what? I'm going to do marketing, but not because I feel like I need you to sell you something, but because I want to connect with you. You know, I want to feel closer to you. I want you to know my story, right? I want to create a narrative of my art, of, of my career and what I do so that more people can connect to it, right? There's a, it's a connection driven marketing and that's something that's going to help you out a lot. You know, trust me because perhaps like you, I was in the same boat. You know, it was weird for me, it was really hard for me, but when I started making that shift, everything changed. All of a sudden it's like, well, you know, I'm going to make a post and I'm thinking about, 
you know, to make it practical, to make this point practical, I'm thinking about, you know, how would I say this to a friend? You know, I imagine myself like before I create that caption for that post, like what would I tell to a friend who's sitting across the, the chair from me, right? If I were to give this picture to somebody, what would I say to it? I wouldn't go and, you know, if I'm sitting with, with you in a coffee shop, I wouldn't give you a picture and just give you a title, medium, and size, and then disappear, right? Leave the chair, leave the table, leave you in the coffee shop. That would be really strange, really awkward, and probably <laughs> you will never go out with coffee with me. So w instead, I would have a conversation with you, and then I would tell you maybe a little bit about this. I would tell you why I'm sharing it. Maybe I'll tell you a memory of when I, you know, when I was creating it. Maybe I'll tell you, you know, if it's part of a series or how it was made, some of the process of making the piece or how it makes me feel you know i would tell you something that i will at least you know will, will create a connection and when you start thinking about that in those ways as you write an email as you write a caption for your reel or for your post for your picture as you send a letter to somebody you know then everything begins to change and you will discover that marketing will become easier so that's step one start here start in your mind start repriming resetting how you feel and what you think about marketing. You know, it's not a dirty word. <laughs> it's not a dirty word. It's actually something that could be really, really good for you and can help you grow your art business in the new year. So let's go to number two. A second thing that can help you to make marketing easier for you in the, in the new year is think about the goals and objectives for every piece of marketing that you send out. That's uh, another big one because for many years, I wasn't doing it. You know, I thought that marketing was just sending emails, making posts and just being everywhere and anywhere. And uh, that would just magically do things. No, now, you know, I have learned, right? Uh, I think about what is the uh, objective? What do I want to happen? You know, when I do my marketing, you know, what am I looking for? You know, not everybody's looking for the same things all the time. Yeah, some posts, maybe I'm trying to uh, promote a new body of work that I just released. So I want people to connect to it, a little bit of the story so that perhaps, you know, more sales happen. But sometimes I, you know, also sharing things because I want new opportunities. Not everything's about sales of art. You know, it's also I'm looking for new opportunities, right? So I shared uh, images of previous exhibitions that I've had, beautiful uh, uh, pictures of shows that I had in the past because I'm looking for new opportunities. I want to, you know, connect with new collectors and new curators and new gallery directors, you know, who perhaps see that image and then they can imagine or get interest in my work for a new opportunity or somebody that I may want to collaborate with. So I may, you know, I shared uh, moments from previous collaborations because I'm maybe looking to collaborate with somebody else, you know, in the future. So, you know, you got to think about what is the objective, what, what I want the, the uh, end result to be with this marketing uh, work, this marketing piece or this marketing series of pieces. So you got to think about that, right? What is it? You know, what is it that you want? What is the objective? When you define the objective, then marketing becomes easier because then you have then a specific call to action that you can put after that piece of content. You know, if it's an email that you're sending out, a lot of, I, I, I get a lot of emails from artists. I run a gallery too, and I'm a curator, as you guys know. So I get a lot of email newsletters from artists. And a lot of times there's no uh, one call to action. Sometimes a newsletter may have 10 calls to action, like click here to see this show, click there to see this, click there. So, you know, it's like, okay, which one do I click? And I don't know, I probably, I won't click on anyone, any of them and they'll just move on, right? You gotta be, uh, when you create, when you have an objective of what you want people to do, you know, what is the action that people are gonna take after that piece of content, piece of marketing, and then it becomes easier because then like, okay, then my, my uh, call to action is a no-brainer. I want them to click in this link so they can go there and see my new body of work. And that's it. I'm not gonna distract them with 10 other things, 10 other links, 10 other things to go to. Because as you know, when the most likely when somebody clicks on one of your links on that email, it's not gonna go back to the same email. It's just gonna stay there and look around and forget it. You know, if that wasn't your main objective, if that link that you put first was not the one that you wanted to click, that you wanted people to kind of go to, then you lost them, you know, they're gone. <laughs> they already left. The likelihood that they'll come back and click on the other ones is very minimal. So what you want to do is make sure 
that, you know, to make your marketing easier to think about before you make the post, before you send that email, before you make the call, like, what is the objective? What do I really want to happen? And how am I making that easy for the person on the other side, right? How am I making it super easy and super obvious, right? It has to be obvious so that people know exactly what you're calling them to do. So that's number two. Uh, figure out what your goals and objectives for every piece of marketing that you do. So that will, when you start doing that, you will find that marketing becomes easier, right? And that's what this whole chat is about. You know, four ways in which you can make your marketing a lot easier so that it doesn't feel weird, funny, or that you're selling out. You know, you feel like you're actually communicating for the first time, that like you feel like, oh, actually people are getting it. You know, people understand, people are actually clicking what I want them to click because I'm being more clear, more transparent. And, uh, and it's not, I'm not trying to, to be uh, you know, weird about it. All right, let's talk about number three. If you want your marketing to be easier in 2023 and more effective for your art, to promote your art and get more opportunities, you gotta be consistent and systematic. Super important, you gotta be more consistent and systematic. When you combine those two, it's a very powerful formula that will help you know, make things easier when it comes to marketing, promoting your art in social media, in the web, everywhere else that you may want to promote your art. So let's talk about these two. Let's uh, uh, dissect both ideas. First of all, let's talk about consistency. You want your uh, content to have some sort of consistency. And, and that, the beautiful thing about that is that you make the rules. You decide when and how you're gonna be posting uh, or sharing or sending that email. For example, let's talk about email newsletter. You know, do you want to send one email newsletter a month, two email newsletters a month, three? It's entirely up to you. You make the call, you make the choice, but consistency really matters. You know, I see a lot of artists who send like three emails in one month and then they disappear for two and they come back and then they their emails are like very salesy and, you know, buy this, click here, click here, but then they disappear again. So there's no consistency. There's no rhyme or reason. So, you know, people don't, don't, don't uh, uh, connect the dots, right? In your mind, you think that you're connecting the dots because you are writing that email, but really for people, it all feels disconnected. So consistency is super important. And your social media, think about how many times a week do I want to post? Is it two times a week, three times a week, four times a week, you name it. I have chosen, for example, in my case, I post daily and that's just me. I, I just love that because again, I think of, marketing as a way of connections and communication. And I wanna feel closer to my audience, right? And I want them to feel closer to me. So I show up to them every day in some sort of way. Sometimes a video, sometimes a picture, sometimes it's a carousel, sometimes it's a reel or a story, but there's always every day something, except usually on Sundays. On Sundays, I take a break. So I have decided my consistency pattern will be Monday through Saturday. And Sundays, I take a break usually from social media, I usually don't post. Once in a while, I may post a story or something fun that I'm doing, but I'm not really working uh, at, you know, uh, at my marketing. So I take the day off and that is fine. You know, that's kind of what works for me. You gotta think about what works for you. Maybe once a day is too much for you. Maybe for you will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then put them in your schedule. You start with that pattern, try them for a month, and you will find that it becomes easier. Once you follow the pattern for at least 30 days, you will find that it becomes easier over time because you don't have to think about it so much. Every time that you think about your marketing, you're burning calories, you know, trying to think about it, right? You're getting stressed out, you feel the weight of marketing, you feel funny, you feel strange, uh, you feel like, I don't wanna do this, I'm wasting time, I should be in my studio, right? Because, again, because you you, are, you don't have a pattern, so you feel like you're breaking your, your daily activity in order to do, this, to do this tedious thing, and it doesn't have to be that way. So, think about consistency, consistency will help you out. Pick something, try it for 30 days, and see how it works, if you don't like it, change it, change it. You are the boss, right? You are the CEO of your art career. You are the CEO of your marketing department in your art business. So you can make that call and change it as you need it. But please, please, if you want it to feel easier, have consistency. And then the second part of that consistency and systematic is, you know, follow a system too, so that you know what to post all those days that you're posting. So again, you're not overstressing out like, oh, geez, today is Wednesday, I need to post. I have no idea what to post. I'm not one of those artists that makes art every day, something new. So my artwork takes, you know, three months to finish one painting. You know, what am I going to do, right? <laughs> it's an argument that I hear all the time. Well, if you have a system in which you can look 
at you know different buckets or categories of types of pose that you can do then it becomes easier at the same time as different stories different ideas you know that you can talk about in a singular pose that makes things a lot easier so you just grab from that bucket and you fill in the blank so for example let me let me make it practical i have a bucket for studio pictures so i have studio pictures from the last you know five eight years and you know when you make a, a post on social media doesn't mean that it has to be the most relevant absolutely thing that you have done you know it's okay to repost something from the past and i make choose a picture that maybe is a three-year-old picture from my studio and i put it there and i talk about you know something that what makes my studio practice special for me maybe i talk about a, a routine of my studio sometimes i talk about i may talk about a funny story that happened in my studio i may talk about the tools that i use i may talk about how important you know it is for me to go into the studio and make the work that i love you know uh, so there's a million things I can talk about just with one picture of my studio without having to say this is an old picture from, you know, 2015, you know, it, it is irrelevant. You know, what matters is kind of what you're saying and how you bring in that to today, right? To where you are as an artist, you can actually, you can make a reference to that. You say, this is a picture from, uh, you know, 10 years ago in my studio. Wow. You know, what a difference 10 years have made in my studio today. And then you can write three more sentences about that and you're done with it right so you see how you know as you're taking that content you're becoming more systematic so you have a consistency and you have a system that you're working with in order to grab the content that you need to be able to make more connections with people so they feel closer to you and the result of that is then you have more opportunities and more sales of your art because people will feel closer to you right versus if you hide or you are all over the place or you're just uh, disorganized with your marketing uh, then you will not have the same results as those of us you know who follow uh, consistency and uh, we follow also you know systems that we use and that's the number third right number three things to make things easier for your art marketing in 2023 so that you get better results so you can grow your art business so you can find more opportunities and sell your art and the last one the last one is super important because my friend this one is a resource this one is a resource that i want to give you yes a, it's a little gift i want to give you uh which will help you out with your marketing in 2023 and this is it we are going to be doing a totally free three-day art marketing bootcamp this is super awesome this is a big announcement great news because we're going to do a bootcamp totally free for three days it's called the art marketing bootcamp and we are doing this in collaboration in partnership with art placer so our next level which is my company and art placer which is an amazing also marketing uh, and tools company you know we have joined forces and say hey you know we passionately love artists we passionately love to help artists be better in their marketing uh, be more uh, effective and so they can spend more time in the studio so why don't we put together this bootcamp so that's what we're doing uh, it's going to be january 10 11 and 12 totally free anybody can come from anywhere in the world we're going to do it inside of a facebook group uh, we're going to go live for those three days teaching you amazing resources strategies to stay connected with your uh, with your marketing stay, uh, you know boost your your marketing and sales and opportunities uh, Dr. Ana Gomez, who will be also joining us, she's going to talk about, as she loves to do, talk about mindset and wellness, how to stick to your goals in 2023. I'm going to be focusing on marketing systems and ideas, and our friends at ArtPlacer are going to also focus on uh, marketing tools as well as uh, funnels for your art business, for your art career. And we're going to have a Q&A at the very end. So we're going to be doing these live appearances in the Facebook group. And then, which is pretty cool too, the last day we're going to have live Q&A. So you can ask us any questions from anything that we talk about. And we're going to keep it uh, open for a couple more days. So even if on those two, three days you may be busy or whatnot, out of town, you know, extended holiday season, you know, you have uh, an additional a uh, couple more days to watch the content. So super easy, my friend, the art business bootcamp is one thing that I 100% believe is gonna help you simplify your marketing in 2023, make things easier for you. Cause it will give you a structure. It will give you tools and strategies that you can use so that you can put your marketing uh, in autopilot as well as you move forward in your art business. So. If you want to register register for this free opportunity, for this free resource, the Art Marketing Bootcamp, all you gotta do is under the description of this video, here you will find 
a uh, link. Also, if you're listening this to the podcast, you will find a link there. Or you can just go directly to theartistnextlevel.com. Again, www.theartistnextlevel.com right slash art marketing bootcamp. All together. Again, www.theartistnextlevel.com right slash art marketing bootcamp. Or just look for the description under uh, this post. And my friend, this will help you out. I hope to see you there. It's going to be awesome. And my goal, my goal for 2023, as I said at the beginning of the video, is to help you. I'm going to be creating a lot of more resources all throughout the year 2023, more videos, more podcasts, more reels, more stories to help you out, you know, making your marketing easier and more effective so that you can spend more time doing the thing you love, which is creating art. So if you want to check out also more of my resources, just go to my website, theartistnextlevel.com. Follow me on Instagram as well at Sergio Gomez Art so you can get more of my resources. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast right here to the YouTube channel as well. So hope you have an awesome, beautiful day, rest of your week. I hope to see you on January 10, 11, and 12 for the Art Marketing Bootcamp. Have a good day, my friend, and I will see you in the next level. Goodbye.